Hi, this is Amir. Today I am going to show you how you can configure OSPF on Junos over OSPF multiple areas. Uh, before uh, going, uh, I would like to show you some OSPF terminology uh, for router one. If a router has all interfaces within a same area, is called internal router for router one it has e0 and loopback interface within area zero so it's called internal router for router two it has one interface in area zero and one interface in area one is called area border router for router three it has all interfaces within area zero so it's called backbone or backbone internal router for the IP addressing, um, I have um, um, uh, slash 24 subnet between R1 and R2. For router 1, E0 in IP address would be 10, 10, 12, 1. And for router 2, 10, 10, 12, 2 slash 24 and so on. Let's start configuration. I have already configured IP addresses of all interfaces including loopback. If you would like to see how you can configure uh, IP addresses, you can see my previous videos. Uh, let us start from router one, and I going to configure OSPF on router one. Edit protocol area. R one is in area one, so area one. Add set interface em0 slash 0 set interface lo 0 dot 0 uh, I am going to set loopback uh, um, 0 passive interface because I am not looking any neighbor on loopback 0 uh, so that's it Now router 2, area 1, now E0 would be go in area 1 for router 2. And loop back and E1 interface uh, is going to area 0. Now router 3, for router 3 all interfaces would go in area 0. Now router 4, uh, on router 4 area uh, interface E2 goes into area 0 and E0 goes into area 2.
of router 5 all interfaces in area 2. None show route protocol OSP. Now you can see OSPF learning mm, all areas routes uh, uh, 1 for router 1, 2 for router 2, 3 for router 3, 4 for router 4, and uh, you can see routing table of router 5. Here, OSPF, uh, this 10 uh, indicates the administrative distance of OSPF on Junos. And the metric cost is 4 on router 5 for the network 111. Why is the cost uh, is 4 here? Uh, just see what is the interfaces cost on here. Show show OSPF interface detail now you can see the default cost is taking is 1 default cost for interface is for 1 now uh, for uh, the network 111 there is a cost 4 why uh, uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 4 it is a cumulative cost towards network 1111 now you can see uh, other uh, OSPF related commands Sh run show OSPF neighbor R5 uh, has neighborship with uh, router 4 it, yeah, now it is the uh, full in full state now I would like to show you the OSPF database show run show OSPF database <coughs> excuse me here uh, in the data OSPF database you can see three types of LSA link state advertisement um, are uh, router LSA network LSA and summary LSA uh, router LSA is a type 1 LSA uh, which is generated by each router and it flooded within the area there is a two type 1 LSA uh, this LSA is generated by router 4 and this LSA, uh, LSA generated by router 5 this is a network LSA network LSA is generated by DR uh, designated router and in this case uh, in this subnet and uh, within area 2 router 5 is a DR uh, so how uh, you can uh, make sure which router is a DR and which is not DR uh, show OSPF run show neighbor detail <laughs> Now you can see the uh, area 2 uh, DR is a router 5 for this subnet router 5 is a DR so type 2 LSA is generated by DR here this is a type 2 LSA generated by router 5 these are type 3 LSA and these LSAs are flooded between areas 
now you can see uh, all are generated by router 4 and it is flooded between areas so now you can check the connectivity between end to end from router 5 run ping the sparking if you have any question or uh, if you need uh, the configuration of this router you can comment thank you for watching and please uh, also i would like to request you kindly subscribe my channel for further juniper and cisco videos thank you